Okay, so at this point, I've already installed the Google Drive file stream. This computer now has Google Drive file stream running and it has Google Drive file sync on the computer. Remember, the file stream keeps the file copies on Google Drive online, doesn't take up space on your computer, and the Google Drive sync uses space on your computer. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how to disconnect your Google Drive sync. And then once you've done that, you can exit that program so it doesn't run anymore on your computer. And then you can delete the local copies of the files that are on your computer. It won't affect any of the files in the Google Drive file stream. If you want help with this, if you're a little unsure, please be sure to stop by room 104A or B and see uh, either your ITS or your TST, and we will be happy to help you walk through this process. We don't want you to lose any files. So if you're unsure, if you just want to, uh, us to help you walk through this process, be sure to stop by and we'll help you out. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to click down here on the system tray. And you'll notice I've got two things running here. I've got the Google Drive file stream, which is this icon. That is not the one you want. On this computer, I have Google Drive backup and sync. You may have the Google Drive sync on here, which is the older version of this app uh, that just looks like the Google Drive icon. So I'm going to click on this one, the backup and sync. I'm going to click the three dots here to go to settings, and then I'm going to go to preferences. Now, this menu may be a little bit different on the older version, so if you have the older version of this, uh, it's okay. So I'm going to go to settings. This step is pretty much the same, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to see right here I've got my clcooper at vbschools.com, and it shows me I'm using 84 gigs of storage space in my Google Drive. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to disconnect this account. So after, you'll notice it says here, after you disconnect, the files will remain on your computer. We understand that. I'm going to disconnect. It's disconnecting now. So now in my Google Drive folder, uh, those files are not going to sync anymore. All right, so that's done. And uh, what I'm going to do here to finish cleaning up, I'm going to go here to my Windows File Explorer and you'll notice I've got my Google Drive file stream, and I also have this folder here that just says Google Drive. That's the one we want right there. These are the local copies of these files. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to select all of those files. I've disconnected my account. It's reminding me of that, so I'm going to say I got it. It's disconnected all of those files. I can unpin that Google Drive from uh, my quick access. That's gone, and as a final step now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, uninstall and go to programs and features. You notice I just went down to Cortana to the search bar down there and uh, clicked in there and started typing uninstall. And there are a couple of apps here in my uh, uninstall folder. Google Drive file stream, I want to make sure I leave that one. Google Drive file stream is the one that we're going to run on the computer. And uh, I should be able to find one in here called uh, Backup and Sync, or it might just say Google Drive Sync, and then I'm going to uninstall that app. Again, if you're a little unsure on this, we'd rather have you stop by and check with us, and we will walk you through this process. We don't want you to lose fi files by doing something out of order. All right, so now my Google Drive file, Google, the backup and sync is gone, and I'm still left with my Google Drive file stream. I can now go to my uh, Windows Explorer, and I have the file stream icon there, so I can access my Google Drive. I can access all of my team drives and access all of the folders and files in my Google team drives.